Dear friends, in this today's video, we will try to learn how to submit the data and how to fill the correction forms in our uh, JKHRMS. Now, first of all, I will tap on this Chrome browser and I will type JKHRMS login. Now, it shows different these things and I will tap on this one. Okay, here is the platform where I have to log in and uh, last time i have logged in and i have saved that and i will tap just on that i will enter captcha and i will tap on login so here i have logged in now what next i will tap on these three lines yeah, here it shows home and correction form first of all I will tap on the correction form right then it shows request form for employee uh, data updation correction in field select form I will tap on select form and I will tap on the form one that is basic details now you see I will tap on submit and here is my uh, first form its personal information now the photo uploaded here is an old one and we have to uh, update a, a fresh photo here so let we first check the employee id it's gray the gray areas i cannot edit i will leave those and then there is this other number i will check my other number prc file number first name last name gender date of birth is a gray i cannot edit it birthplace is this blood uh, group religion category subcategory is gray service type is uh, government father's name mother's name nationality and now here is this photo and i have to uh, upload a new photo a fresh photo but here it shows image size should be 20 kb only jpeg format right now here is the challenge what i will do here I will try to tap on this choose file and if there is any photo that has been taken by me quite recently and that is in my phone that is in my gallery I can simply uh, get it uh, here from my gallery from my files and I will tap on files now you see I will get different options like I can tap on the images and all the images will be displayed here I will tap on audio I will tap on video and I will I can tap on any of this file but here are the above three lines I will tap on those and I will get my drivers my gallery my music my photos my recorder all these things will be available here now uh, I I will just tap on this gallery okay and in gallery I have already uh, I have already uh, compressed a photo most probably it's this one yes I can show you how we will uh, compress a photograph in a while okay now th then there is marital status then there's this spouse name then there is this employees spouse employee if your spouse is an employee you have to type the CPIS num number of your spouse uh, okay it's here and spouse designation here is that okay now here I will update my form okay correction saved successfully okay now my correction have been saved you see my photo recent fresh photo has been uploaded here now I am done with this form and I will close this form right? now let us first try to understand how to capture a photograph or if we have a photograph in our phone in our gallery how we will resize that to uh, maybe less than 50 kb i will tap on this play store and i will download some photo resize application photo resize now here is one photo and picture resizer okay i have already downloaded that and i get the option open otherwise i would get the option install okay now you just install that and open that
now here are different options like select photo take a photo resize photo <coughs> select video all these options we have in this okay i will select a photo from my gallery let me select a photo of mine let me select this photo okay first of all i will check it is memory it is 2.1 mb and it is quite larger i will first crop it okay now here i am cropping it okay i will tap on this crop now its memory is 1.8 mb i will try to reduce its size reduce its size by tapping on this resize button and i will just reduce it by 25% let me check what happens it shows 54 kb i have to again resize it but now i will tap on this custom and i will reduce it to 22% because i need a photo of less than 50 kb i will tap on this okay yes it is 44 kb and i my work is done i will go back and i will check in my gallery here is this photo and let me check its details yes it is 43.67 kb and my i can easily upload this photo of mine into my jk hr ms okay so this was all about the how to resize my photo next is i have taken a photograph of my regularization order now i need to learn how to convert that to the uh, this uh, to the pdf format because that is in jpg format now what i will do i will again tap on this play store and i will uh, i will download a scanner pdf scanner pdf scanner right pdf scanner now here are different pdf scanners i can download for example this one i have already downloaded its pdf scanner cam scan kagaz okay and uh, you have just to uh, install it here and i will tap on this open button because i have already installed this when i will open it i will scan tap on this scan pdf button okay now here it shows you, if you if it gives you options like you have if you have to take the photograph or you have to select a photo from the gallery now i have already taken a photograph of my order i will select this gallery button and i will try to import the order from there okay now i have to select my regularization order it is here and i will tap on this import button okay after import i will tap on this proceed button now in proceed button i will try to crop my document now one thing you have to keep in mind while taking a photograph is that don't keep your phone camera just near the document but keep it at a distance because by keeping it at a distance and uh, keeping it a bit far from the document the memory size is uh, reduced the memory size of the document is is reduced and it eases us in uh, Uh, converting it this to the pdf and the size remains to the extent what we need and what we need to upload here in jkhrms so the thing is simple that we have to keep the document at a distance and not uh, just quite near our this phone camera okay i will crop my document there is this i will tap on this next one right and maybe i will tap on this done button when i tap it on this done button it shows add page now i need not to add any page because i have i need just the one copy of my order 
okay i will tap on this this arrow button and it shows 0.15 mb that means it is size is uh what i need and it is uh some something around uh 150 kb and i can easily uh, this upload my order in jkhrms because i need a, a document pdf document of less than 220 uh, kilobyte memory now i will download it as pdf right file save to downloads folder okay i will tap on this okay now my for this document has been saved to uh, downloads this uh, folder i will go back and i will try to check whether the document is there or not documents yes here is this yeah this is my order and it is just here so i can easily upload it in my this and again here it is again but i will just try to rename it i will rename it so that i easily get it form right then i will again tap on this uh, select form and it shows form 2 joining details i will tap on this and i will tap on submit button okay my second form that is initial joining details in government service form is here and i have to check my details all the details okay in joining office i will type the name of my school okay in payment my initial payment at the time of re- regularization was this my initial grade pay it was this my basic pay at the time of my regularization it was this employee type is permanent it is district employee initial cadre gray areas i cannot edit and uh, date of joining i will write my date of joining as when i got regularized and it is this now joining designation i will select it as designation it is this and date of appointment again it's my date of regularization you see here it again s- slowed down so i need to have the patience and i i don't need to do anything i have just to wait type the date of appointment again as the date of my regularization okay now i have to type the order number here order of my regularization okay now employee type is non gazetted right then i have to upload here the order of my regularization and that too in only pdf format i have already shown you how to uh, how to convert the jpg order or the uh, photo of your regularization order uh, into the pdf format now i will tap on this choose file and i will tap on this files yeah it is this one i will just select it and i will tap on this <coughs> update and confirm button updated successfully alhamdulillah okay now i will close this okay now next form is salary details you know dear friends on this salary details form we cannot edit it because it's all gray and uh, we it is all auto updated the hrms is just connected to our jk pcs and our cpis so it's auto updated we need not to do anything to this now i will close this window and i will select the contact details submit and again in contact details we will check our uh, the details like uh, current designation employee current type one by one i have to check the details residential details and i will update uh, update and confirm this okay 
i will close this <clears throat> then there is this education details and i will submit it okay here are my education details uh, now in case there is any uh, entry that is duplicate or wrong one we will just tap on that and we will write n a not applicable okay and uh, rest of the details we can edit and we can update for example let me take the this one as uh, my 10th uh, class okay i will just write it. i can easily edit qualification type is academic course is 10th university is jk bose marks is uh, 334 qualification year is 1996 grade is first all the details are relevant and good so i need not to do anything to this uh, if i have to make any correction like in my bsc okay i will select this and i will try to enter in this, in this edit i can make necessary corrections here like <coughs> marks it has shown as uh, it has been shown as 54 which is wrong i will type the actual marks that are there in my bsc uh, marks and i will tap on this correction request now correction raised successfully okay now, and uh, in this way i can edit each of the uh, details each of the qualifications here and i will confirm it okay and then there is this promotion details okay i will submit this now you see in, in my case it has been shown as teacher grade second in promotion details which is not correct and i will just edit it for okay and promotion office i will type it as na na because t getting the teacher grade second uh, order is not the promotion it's simply an a conversion now it was a wrong entry because uh, teacher grade second order uploaded here at the details entered here it as teacher grade second is not the promotion so i have typed the promotion office as na now the next form is uh, posting details and in posting details we will enter all the details that are uh, needed there in the posting yes but one thing is there that we have to uh, upload the orders of our postings and i have already shown you how to upload the order there i will again show it edit for update you will type you will type all the relevant details that are needed here now i have to type the date from the date of my regularization and day two i am currently posted at the place where i have been appointed so i need not to type the date uh, day two and just upload the order of the uh, regularization here this is this one i will again tap on this correction request okay and i will confirm it then there is this nominee details now under this nominee column we will check all our this sli uh, janta insurance nps gratuity and we will select the share that we uh, want to keep um, as our nominee so we, we can easily do that we will again uh, tap on this confirm button and uh, finally what we have to do we have to tap on this i certify I, I, I certify that the above facts are true the best and we will lastly tap on this uh, this uh, submit all forms button here it is this and when we tap on this submit all forms all our details get updated but remember dear friends once we submit all forms and once we certify uh, here uh, we may not be we may no longer be able to edit our forms and uh, submit the data again so hope you learned from this video so uh, my simple request would be please subscribe my channel uh, so that you get the notifications next time thank you